tampering with the laws of purity of speech. And we know that the mitzvah of Talmud Torah is such a great value. Talmud Torah can make it kula. Learning Torah is the greatest of all mitzvot. So now we would wonder if that's the greatest mitzvah, what's the biggest avera? What's the biggest sin in the entire Torah? Talmud Yerushalmi says, it is the avera of Lashon Ara. Why is Lashon Ara so severe that, the, that it's the, considered the greatest sin in the Torah? person who speaks the Ra raises sins unto the heavens. What does this mean? It means when we speak negatively about another Jew, that Jew's sins become ascribed in heaven. That means to say, through speaking the Ra, we cause our friend to be judged even, even more harsh and more severe because we cause him to be ascribed in heaven. And also because of the Ra. Like we said yesterday, the Chesed of Ram writes that every single time we speak negative about another person, we create a destructive angel. So therefore, not just the destructive angel causes suffering, it also tears up our tefillot. It also goes in Shamayim, and when our tefillot are going up, it goes and rips up our prayers, Chaz Shalom. It makes them attached to impurity, and they get weighed down, and they can't go to Shamayim. So therefore... That's why the, the, the Midrash, Midrash Rabbah says, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu HaOlam HaZeh, Ayadeh Shaya Lashon HaRa Benechem, Silak Tishkina Benechem. As the Midrash says, in this world, since the Lashon HaRa amongst you, that's why I remove my Shekhina from amongst you. So if a person has to make sure to remove the most destructive tool, the most destructive thing from amongst us, and that is Lashon HaRa. So how do we get rid of Lashon Ara? It's not so easy. There's no button we press. Oh, that's it. No more Lashon Ara. I can't do that. So we have to realize that every field that has bad weeds, has bad plants that you want to remove, you can't just snip them at the top. You have to remove them from the roots in order for them not to be able to grow anymore. Because if you snip them at the top, it'll just grow again. Right? So therefore you have to remove from the roots. And how do we destroy the roots of our negative speech about one another? We have to answer the question of, why do we speak of Lashon Ara? What's the root of the problem? So the Chavetz Chaim writes that one big problem is jealousy. When we lack an emunah in the Kaddish Baruch Hu, that everyone gets what they're supposed to get, and everyone has exactly what they need to be successful, so then we think we, we end up being jealous, and we say, no, if only I had what he had, I'll be happy. Why does he get and I don't have? And we make this mistake, the thinking that a Kaddish Baruch Hu as if made a mistake in what he gave to each person. So therefore, a person has to acknowledge that each one has a different mission, each one has different achievements, and therefore everyone has their own their own bag of, of, of what Hashem gave them as tools to be able to su- successful in their life. And when you don't have the emunah to do that, that's when you fall in jealousy. And when you fall in jealousy, so then that's when you fall in the Shon Ara, because you want to put down the other person and make him make yourself feel special, and they say, oh, even though he has that and I don't, you should know he's not such a big tzaddik. So therefore, that's why, has the Shonom, you make yourself feel better. And the second reason, another potential root for why people speak in the Shonara is because some people have a subconscious desire for it to be recognized. And they want to show off their knowledge or show off what they accomplished or they want to show off by telling negative information about somebody else to bring that person down in order to make themselves elevated. For example, a person says, you know, the, 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 the principal of my school you know, even though uh, I got in trouble, my kid got in trouble, or, you know, the principal didn't accept me. Oh, by that principal, he's a, he's a, he's a fool anyways, right? We speak Lashon Ara about him in order to, even though we're lower, and there it looks like they're higher, we want to make ourselves level by bringing them down. And, and a lot of times we make up stuff, even if we say things that maybe are true, the fact that we had to say something negative in term, and to make ourselves feel better is already the biggest sin of Lashon Ara, and that's a, it's either projection, it's a Napoleon complex where we have to make other people down in order to make ourselves feel better, and that is a lack of self-esteem, lack of self-confidence. A person believes that he's good and he's not dependent on anybody else, so he'll not have to resort to kind of these kind of things, these kind of petty activities, which is putting people down in order to make yourself feel better. So therefore, we have to get rid of jealousy, and we have to work on our confidence, work on our self-esteem in order that we shouldn't bring other people down. So a person has to know, it's a shonara also to speak about the sins other people do. There's, if it's not little elet, if you're not speaking to somebody who's going to help that person stop doing those sins, there's no, there's no point in mentioning all these things that the person does. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't pray properly, or he doesn't set a time, time to learn Torah, he doesn't learn Torah anyways, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not dedicated. You know, all these things are all the shonara. And a person can say, 
Well, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything bad about this guy. He was born this way. He has a tendency. Everybody knows he has a tendency to do these kind of things. First, no. Imagine how would you feel if somebody said that about you? Many times a guy says, "Oh, you see that guy? He's not so intelligent. He's he, he's a slowpoke, right? Nebuch, he's so dumb." Has shalom, a person when you hear this about yourself, how would you feel? So after whatever you wouldn't want done to yourself, don't to, to, to others. A person, a lot of times when they speak about shiduch, people speak about business, right? When you hear these kind of things during the year, during the day, later when you want to do a shidduch, later when you want to do business, you remember what that person said, and it affects people. A lot of times we don't realize we're labeling people. When we speak about people in general, we just stuck a label on them. And now when they walk around everywhere else, people look at them with that label you gave, because it's very hard to remove in your mind. Once a guy says, oh, you see this guy? He, he, he's a dummy. And then what? And then when people next time imagine and think of it in their mind of him again later that day, they, they sticks with them, and that's what they think of the guy. That's the whole. That's the whole approach they have to this guy. And you, could, even if you say later, "Oh, I was joking. It was all a joke." Then the day once you took the label and put it there, even if you removed it, sometimes you try to take off a sticker. You see, sometimes the sticker rips off a little bit. Still, a little bit stays. You can see the the zero from the price. So sometimes the same thing. You label somebody, even though you 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 you, you spoke the shana about him, and oh, I didn't mean it. I, I'm sorry. I, I I was a joke. At the end of the day, the, the, some of the sticker might stay, it might stay, the label might stay, and it might affect other people how they treat him. So therefore, you don't realize how much damage and how difficult it is to remove these labels that we give to people. So therefore, a person has to make sure, would you want people to give you a label? Would you want people to speak about you like this? Definitely not. So why do you do it to others? Why do you do it to others? And therefore, you have a problem with jealousy, you have a problem with self-esteem that you have to put other people down. So work on yourself. Don't, 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 don't be petty and, and, and bring other people down to make yourself feel better. Work on yourself to feel better. Work on your self-confidence. Learn Torah. Get your habits together. Don't be lazy. And make sure that uh, you're proud of who you are and you, and you, and you have emunah. And, and like this, we'll be able to get the Shekhinah amongst us.